Hey everybody out there in YouTube land. I know it's been a while since I released a video. Uh, getting back on my feet. Had a rough couple weeks. You can see that I'm broadcasting to you from the love seat. I want to give a shout out to my wife. Without her, you guys would be watching reruns of my videos and there wouldn't be any new ones. So if you know her, you know, tell, you know, I know that I'm lucky uh, to have a wife like her. So let's get to this video. I've got a lot of videos that I want to do. Um, but I'm, I'm recuperating and so I'm going to limit myself to one video a week. Um, so the first one that I wanted to do is today around lunchtime, we got the notification that Unify 5.2.7 has been officially released. So if you cruise on over to the Ubiquity community and you go to the Unify, Unify Wireless, um, you can see that and you can go to the, the posting about it. <clears throat> And, um, you know, always read the notes, but um, you, there's some new features. You know, they're still playing with the static routes, the firewall rules, the auto backup. You know, we saw that in the beta 5.2 that we're running. Um, but look at all of the controller bug fixes and changes from 5.0.7, which was the latest release, uh, stable release. I mean, look at this list. Uh, I can tell you that um, today we started planning our 5.2.7 rollout. Uh, we've got a few controllers that hold, you know, we've got dozens of sites and looking to get this going. So uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do an upgrade right here on, on uh, YouTube. So here's our 5.2 uh, controller. So we're going to go ahead and log into this guy. And you can see the lab USG and everything's disconnected. The only thing we've got is uh, the one AP for now. So we're going to go over to settings. Into settings. We're going to go into auto backup. I'm just going to make sure. Looks like we had a backup on the 18th at 8.05. Not much has changed. So that's good. We're going to go ahead and log out of this guy. And we're going to hop back over here. And you know, I one of these days I'm going to try the Debian uh, repository. Um, but for now, we are going to do the manual upgrade like we always do. I know I didn't forget my password. There it is. And this is a 1404 box and uh, an Ubuntu 1404 box. And you can see that they're soliciting us to do the 1604.1 LTS upgrade. So we will cover that in a video. Um, let's see. So let's get the Unify controller download. So we'll copy this, this link. And we're going to remove the unify file that's in there. Do a wget. Paste the link in there. Grab the file. The lighting's not so great, I apologize. I'm going to work on that, that later. Um, but our file's downloaded, so we're going to run our sudo dpackage space hyphen i unify and we'll put our password in it's going to stop the controller uh, yes we know we have a backup even though we didn't do it manually we have them from the 18th and today is the 19th, so I did the backup yesterday. That's great. Um, setting everything up. Looks like it started it, so let's come back over here and refresh. And it's waiting. Now the box that I'm running this on does quite a bit. And look at that. So we've got the, uh, now we're at 5.2.7. Got the Remember Me box. 
down here now and you can extend the session timeout to 24 hours. We're not going to do that. But we're going to go ahead and log in. And let's scroll over to our access point. And it looks like it says that our um, main AP is still disconnected. So we're going to give this a minute <clears throat> and see if the uh, access point picks back up. So our main AP came back on. It's, looks like there is a firmware upgrade, so we're going to go ahead and do that. <clears throat> and we'll pop back in here after that upgrade's done. Upgrade's done, and we'll just poke around here and just see uh, if there's anything that really sticks out too much. Oh, yeah, the LED, LED settings on the access point, you know, you can turn it off. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Airtime fairness is now active. Uh, band steering is now active for uh, my particular hardware. Uh, so, you know, uh, as always, use caution. You know, if your 5.0.7 has been stable and it's been good to you and you don't need any of the new functions, you know, test this out in a lab environment. Uh, I, we will be rolling it uh, to all of our sites in the next week or two along with completing our 1.9 uh, upgrades on the, our, all of our edge routers. Um, but once again, look at look at all of the firmware changes, uh, you know, for the uh, all the hardware. I mean, they have made a lot of fixes in 5.2.7. So I'll be interested to hear what everybody's got to say about the upgrade. I think that covers it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. And I'll see you at the next video.